Well, it was considered a masterpiece of urban planning when it was built in the mid-1950s. But the pruitt Igo high-rise apartments became a heartbreaking symbol of the failure of public housing and the community's inability to address problems of racial segregation, poverty, and crime. On today's Vintage KSDK, a look back to the mid-70s when the complex was being torn down. There was so much hope when the 33 buildings that made up the pruitt Igo apartments were drawn by a famous architect in the 1950s. But in real life, the complex at Jefferson and Cass on the near north side was a public housing failure almost from the start. Over the next 16 years, the primarily African-American families living in the buildings faced daily confrontations with crime and vandalism. The fact is that Pruitt Igo is still standing there and those policemen are afraid to go in there and they don't give a damn. By the late 1960s, many in St. Louis began calling for the buildings to be torn down. Then, more heartbreak in December of 1970, when the body of a missing eight-year-old girl was found in an abandoned building on the property. Still, there was some support for spending more money to fix the complex. Pruitt High Goal is a mistake, and we ought to recognize it as such. And if we have any money available, it should be for the purpose of tearing Pruitt High Goal down and building houses on a scattered site basis without uh, concentrating large numbers of people uh, from low economic backgrounds in an area such as the pruitt Igo complex. A years-long struggle to tear them down would finally bring an end to pruitt Igo in 1972. We don't use much dynamite. No. It's all gravity. No. This is film from spring of that year. Implosions leveled buildings on March 16th, April 21st, and June 9th, 1972. More implosions would follow over the next three years. The site was finally cleared in 1976. And today, the former pruitt Igo site is now across the street from the new home of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency that, of course, is under construction. All right, when we look back in history,